Hey guys, Dan Juan 098. I just want to show you what I did today. Uh, climbed up this roof on this ladder. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but I looked down and that was definitely a mistake. Well, I got up here and I see this butte, uh, 2017, uh, seven and a half ton gas pack, and she's wearing a brick hat, so I definitely like her. Pull the doors off, filters are pretty clogged up. They are doing some construction down there. So I throwed them filters away, looked at the EVAP, and it's not in that bad of shape. So I just moved forward. Walk around to the electrical, see old control board right there, verify my call for W. So she's definitely calling it the thermostat. Look over and I see a furnace board, a ignition board. Uh, she's flashing a four code at me. So it went out on high limit, probably cause it was clogged up. So I did the old crest line control fuse reset and boom the inducer came on uh, it's definitely breathing air here the igniter it's popping off it lights up gas valve goes in so yeah it's making heat wait for a second contactor it definitely pulled in the blur came on super super noisy though definitely sounded like it was a belt so i shut it down walk over to the um, blower and the blower is okay look at the belt and it's in a rough shape that's where the noise is coming from didn't let go though which is good i uh, got a three-phase motor in there and here you go so behind all these components are um they're behind doors so i spent a lot of my life working with doors um so if you want to know how i put those doors back on i just hold it up there with my knee and then i hit my drill working with makita brushless 18 um it definitely is a good one and then um <clears throat> that was a hard one to get into and then somebody started yelling at me yeah so at this point we definitely got the heat figured out i let it run for about 15 20 minutes and she ran i wanted to see that compressor though and just uh before i've already checked um, the service ports and it doesn't feel like it has it doesn't have a lot of pressure in it and I did put my gauges on it to verify but she came on and it definitely went out and I'm sitting here thinking like is that a short cycle uh, it must be so I poke around on it for a little while longer and it's definitely short cycling yeah so um this thing's the compressor's running right now and i know it's not good for the head pressure but watch that door snap boom that's a uh, twin they're probably like one horse motors like uh condenser fan motors up there uh definitely has a lot of airflow and if you are working on these things live you definitely want to be careful um here again makita uh, 18 volt brushless with the malco flip bit a wonderful tool um, so I let it run again and I'm just trying to verify that it is indeed short cycling. So I'll walk around it, you know, doors off, it's getting plenty of air. Um, like I said, I did verify with my gauges, but, um, here she goes, uh, definitely short cycling. Um, so a little inside the cabinet here, um, what I'm doing is I'm hooking up my control wires, uh, on our terminal. Uh, that is what feeds the thermostat. I'm plugging it back up basically and the power is off and then I'm I'm capping off the Y call coming back in with this uh, handy blue wire nut I had in my bag uh, Just to make sure that if the thermostat is put in air conditioner that it won't run and I did let you know the the customer know that um, the air conditioner wouldn't run so yeah, um, I'm going back and putting pressure in it to see where the leak is. And uh, it was a good day. Uh, old brick hat, seven and a half ton. Uh, she was a good one. And then I just had to crawl down.